good day, this 242nd day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. This afternoon, I happened to be walking some recycling out to the recycling bin and walked past the pool noticing that there wasn't anyone here. And I thought, how unusual. And then I remembered, oh yeah, kids are back in school. Um, you know, summer's quickly coming to an end, so to speak, with Labor Day holiday coming up. And for a lot of us, you know, here in uh, the more of the Northern Hemisphere, this is the time when the season starts to shift and, you know, those outdoor experiences start to change and are a little bit more subject to weather and we want to take up those opportunities to enjoy the sunshine. And suddenly I had this sensation that, you know, I can go in and take a swim and do some laps back and forth. And how wonderful that would be because for the last couple of days I felt this need for movement, whether it's a bike ride, a walk, whatever, but just to move. And just looking at and seeing if that'll work. There we are. <laughs> a little switch there. But um, that was a perfect example of it right now, too. As I was making that shift and deciding, okay, I'm going to go do that, and what can I take over to the water so that I can still accomplish some of the things that I was wanting to do today? And suddenly it hit me like, wait a minute. You know, I just need to be for a moment and be with this, trusting that if in this moment this is what I'm really called to do and kind of taking up this opportunity, seizing that moment, then I can just do that and know that everything else falls into place. But so much of what we do and how we respond to life is about accessing our resources. It's one thing to know your resources. It's another thing to actively use them and to have access to them, like at your fingertips. So, so many of us, especially, you know, now, we're inundated with so much information on well-being. You know, how to care for our bodies, physically, emotionally, mentally, how to carry for our mind, how to carry for our soul, how to carry, carry um, and care for that impact of our soul in the human experience, connected to spirit all these ways that we can do it. And you know, that's just it. We have so much available to us. And all we have to do is use it. That idea of collecting, 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 but not having access to it when we need it is pretty irrelevant. So as you gather these resources, you got to use them. You got to have access to them in the moment, kind of nimble on your feet. It's not enough to just be dipping your toes in the water with it. You got to move with it, immerse yourself in it, practice it, use it so that it becomes so familiar to you that in that moment that you face whatever situation it is during the course of your day whatever it might be, that you have access to your resources at that moment. And that's a skill, and it's also a cultivation and a mastery of the art of living. And the more you experience that, the more fulfilled you become with your awareness in that present moment. That's the presence of your whole being. That is the well-being, a holistic well-being of body, mind, and soul. So, for instance, in this moment as I was walking past the pool, I knew that I needed to move. That was a physical response, but it was actually a response to a physical need. And it was also something that my soul was wanting to be able to come out in the sun and absorb that. I can go into all the layers of how that's going to But again, if I had allowed myself to stay on one track or what it was that I was just working on at that moment and not allowing my focus to be what inwardly am I hearing 
I wouldn't have accessed that resource, which was to move in this direction. And that resource is an internal resource, but it's also practical resources that we have on hand. So all the ways we're nourishing ourselves, all the ways we're caring for ourselves, all the ways that we're attending to our day, that we're responding to life in the moment, is building your resources. It's growing them, it's expanding them, and then it's just a matter of you accessing them. And we get a whole life to do this in. How amazing is that? Not a day goes by when we don't have infinite resources available to us. If you're feeling shy on that end, limited in some way, reach out. Here at Pure Esperanza, we are willing to help in any way we can, and we have lots of resources, some that perhaps you don't have. But whatever they are, we're here, and until we, in ourselves, each of us, find that we have infinite resources in ourselves, we might need that little bit of guidance, that little bit of um, lending a hand to say, hey, there's some other ways you can develop them for yourself. And that's the key. Within you, for you, surprisingly enough, that works out for all, everywhere, for the highest good in that collective consciousness. So good. Life. So good. I hope friends.